Hey guys, it's today a glorious day or what? I have just got my Lambda results today. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Damn, son. And guess what I got? You won't believe it. You might. It depends. I got a gold distinction. Oh, damn, son. Ah! Oh, yeah. Ah! Uh, look. So, I have got my um my lambda level three certificate in performance acting solo grade eight gold medal and that's the gold medal here and i'm rather chuffed to be honest because this was my first lambda and i got a good grade and i, I didn't think i wasn't expecting it i thought i was gonna get like a gold pass or something but as you guys know the three monologues that i performed was Aaron's monologue from titus and drunkers by william shakespeare chasuble's monologue made it to a monologue from the force of being earnest by oscar wilde as well as ismail's monologue from crossfire by michael ozama yeah i'm quite chuffed with I got, I scored um, 83 out of 100 and I'm, I mean, I'm pretty, you know, chuffed with that. If you're wondering why I'm kind of tired, I, I just, I, I've just came back from work. So I'm pretty um, tired and I just had a cup of tea with my boss. Sh do you want me to read it, read this out? I, okay, I shall read this out. Um, for the first one, it says, <clears throat> You perform this speech with a strong sense of the situation and your character Aaron and a very secure grasp of the text. His feelings were conveyed through facial expression and body language. You performed with a confident awareness of the shape and rhythm of Shakespeare's verse and the meaning of the text was clearly conveyed through emphasis and some vocal modulation. Do take care with the clarity of your diction and ensure your voice is fully projected all the time. The evil laugh and the taunting of Lucius were most effective. Which is kind of true because I do struggle with my diction at times. My addiction, not addiction. Second one. You perform with a good sense of the humour of the scene and some delightful physical pictures including your gestures and your feet. I don't know what I did with my feet. You establish your relationship with Miss Prism from the start and you focus on both unseen characters and scene with you. You take care with the consonants, particularly the word endings to ensure that your diction is appropriate for the period. You know, it's like clarity and you know, when you do the RPX and stuff. I thought I was doing it but... Consider fully the demands of the text and try to explore a greater range of vocal modulation, such as the volume and pitch, to explore further the subtext and bring out the humour. Also consider the staging and try to avoid directing your eye downwards when it became difficult to see your facial expression at times. I this is the um, for um, Dr. Chaswell, this is the one I was kind of struggling with because I was actually doing the play as well of the important being there. So it was a lot of different to my lambda piece and then I, I kept being mixed up with them. Third piece. You caught the essence of this character and his complicated relationship with Jonathan. Mood changes were clearly shown. You made brave use of pause. Ooh. Performance space was used well and you focused on the imagined character of Jonathan in the scene with you. Again, you continue to work on vocal technique to show much greater clarity of diction. Damn my diction! <sighs> you know, and you speak properly. Fourth one. You outline details from Stan the man's life and his principle of acting with confidence and in detail, volunteering information about how you use this to develop your characters for performance today. You also talk confidently and with enthusiasm about Shakespeare's style of writing and period in which he was writing. Character roles, objective plots and the importance of scenes were explained. Yeah, it was kind of true. When when the examiner and I were talking, um, when I get nervous, I tend to talk a lot. I just like, I will shoot words at the person. So yeah, I just sort of blagged on about Stanislavski and then about Shakespeare. And when I talk about Shakespeare, I talk about Shakespeare in stuff that I've learned from anything like television or whatever. Like, I, I, an example of this would be from Doctor Who, the Shakespeare Code. They talk about Love's Labour's Lost, but it was successful and it was going to Love's Labour's One. And everyone knows that, you know, Love's Labour One, he didn't have actually found the script. And that is like a true fact. And I sort of learned that from Doctor Who. But here are my scores. Interpretation, I got 33 out of 40. Technique, 30 out of 40. Knowledge, 20. 20 out of 20. Oh my gosh, how good is that? Knowledge, I got 20 out of 20. And, oh, it was just, yeah, and total mark, 83 out of 100. And yeah, I am rather chuffed with that. If you watched my previous video, you know that I got really nervous, I'm not gonna lie. And I sort of <clears throat> threw up prior to the exam in the morning. That's how nervous I was. I was feeling sweet and stuff, so, yeah. Gestures on your feet. I don't know what I did with my feet. That, that was my grandma. I got a gold distinction, which is brilliant. And let's have a look. That's my brother. That's some rice and curry. This is my... Look. Are you excited for Sasa as well? Yeah. Yes, you are, aren't you?